hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. Hey guys, I'm in Cappadocia. I'm in one of the cave rooms in Cappadocia. And this is my second cave room actually. I came here yesterday and I was at the Chamin Cave and this is the Balloon Cave. But that's not why we're here today. I just thought I'd come and talk to you guys about something that I have you know, I was thinking about it yesterday and even this morning, you know, just ways to focus on yourself in 2023. Um, these are the kind of videos I'm going to be doing now. You know, you guys let me know what you want to see, if you guys like it or, you know, if it's okay. So as I said, I'm going to be talking about focusing on yourself in 2023. In an hour or so, I'm off to horse riding. Yeah, I'm going to do some videos. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys some things I will get up to here and I have gotten up to here. But yeah, I just thought I would come and speak to you guys about this one because I feel like in 2023, we're focusing, we're refocusing on ourselves. So the first point or the first way I feel like you can focus on yourself in 2023 is by basically cutting off all things, people that make you feel negative or that give you negative vibes. So in, one thing I've done in 2022 is to basically let go of people that basically brought me a certain kind of feeling. So they're not bad people. They're just people that brought me, you know, made me feel a certain way, made me feel down. You know, I just feel like this kind of people are not going where I'm going. So it's fine. It's not like, you know, I have any problems with them or anything like that. It's just that, you know, they're not going where I'm going, which is fine. And I had to just let them go. So that's one thing you need to do. People that drain you, people that are always complaining, people that are always competing with you, people that always bring you down, people that make you feel small, people that make you feel like you can achieve a lot. Limiting myself. I had to go, let go of someone that made me feel like I was, you know, I had to aim for small or I had to, I couldn't go so far. So I had to let go of those kind of people. That's one thing I've done in 2020 that I'm very, 2020 that I'm very proud of. And this is one way you can focus on yourself. Another way of, you know, focusing on yourself, you know, is basically by practicing gratitude. This morning when I was, I just woke up and I was getting ready to go see the, you know, the balloons, the hot balloons, hot air balloons. And, you know, it just came to mind that, you know, I started thinking about the things that happened for me this year. So what I did before in, you know, at home was I wrote down the things that have happened for me this year and the things that haven't happened. So I focused on the things that have happened you know, even though it's a small part of my brain, which I'll call the devil, trying to remind me, oh, this didn't happen, but that didn't happen, but this didn't happen. But what I did was I focused on the things that happened and I found out that there were a lot. Even though everything hasn't happened, everything I want, everything I desire hasn't happened, you know, some things went south. This year was literally two years in one and it feels like I, li I live two different lives. But there was a lot of things that happened that I'm so, so, so grateful for. And I feel like this will help you guys, you know, to focus on yourselves. Like, always do a gratitude list. What are the things that have happened? What are the things that are working for me? What are the things that are going in my favor? What are the things that, you know, I'm grateful for? You know, focus on these things and you would see how, you know, this will help you basically refocus or put focus back on yourself. The second thing, the third thing for me is basically practicing self-care, practicing self-love. This is something I did a lot this year and I'm going to continue and even take it further next year. Like practicing, you know, loving yourself, practicing, you know, self-care, caring for yourself, basically, you know, doing things to make yourself happy. Like what I would say is schedule joy. Like things will happen, things will go south, things will go, life would always give you what you want, but you can it, intentionally, I just say like, 10, intentionally practice joy you can intentionally stay in peace you can intentionally stay happy you can intentionally just basically be in a good place do you know what i mean like not looking at the circumstance they said life is basically 90 percent where more 90 10 percent what happens to you 90 percent how you perceive it so that's one thing i'm trying to do you know just linking this back to self-care and self-love and basically loving myself in ways that i would want to be loved by a partner or I don't say partner, by a husband, partner, husband, or what? by, you know, just making myself, getting myself, you know, loving myself to my full potential. The fourth thing I would be doing to focus or refocus on myself in 2023 is basically chasing my goals. 
So yeah, there were some things that I wanted to happen this year. I know I've spoken about it before. It was weight loss. For me this year, it was up and down. Like I feel like I feel myself in that area, but I'm not seeing it as a failure. I'm just seeing it as I haven't done it yet because using the word failure is trying to make you negative and trying to make you feel, you know, awful or whatnot. So I am going to focus on that in 2023. Like, you know, chase, that's not the only goal. Like I have some other goals, you know, in terms of career goals and just personal goals, even spiritual goals in terms of how, you know, how much I talk to God, how much I pray, how much I, you know, how long I spend with God or how often I, you know, read my Bible. So just these things like, I'm going to chase my goals like so, so, so well. That's one way I'm focusing on myself or refocusing on myself in 2023. The fifth way is basically by ignoring what people say. People would always say, like, you can't control that. They have their opinions. God has his plans. You know, you think you'd want your life to be like this. God's plan would always supersede. So now, yeah, whilst taking the positives or whilst taking whatever positive advice or direction I'm given by people, you know, this could be family, well-meaning family and friends, I'm going to be focusing on myself and doing less of what people say, but more of what I feel led in the spirit to do. So more of what I feel like, you know, some people say instincts. You just know in your gut that that's what you should be doing, that direction, having that direction. So this is one way I'm going to be focusing myself in 2023. I'm going to be following that instincts. I'm going to follow that direction because I found out late that my instincts never really lie. Like they tell me a lot of things that I find out that, that, you know, it's true. It ends up being, it ends up being so true. And I'm just like, oh my God, I should have listened. Oh my God, I should have done this. So that's one way I'm going to basically focus on myself in 2023 so yeah these are some ways you know i've talked about it you know that i'm going to focus on myself in 2023 or basically bring the focus back to myself to basically make the best out of my life and i just want to ask you guys you know do you guys have any ways you're thinking of focusing on yourself in 2023 are there any goals you're making are there any changes you want to make let me know in the comments as i've said you know i'm in cappadocia i'm off to um uh horse riding today coming back then off to dinner you know in some nice you know restaurant um i'm going to show you guys some of it maybe not all of it or maybe some of it i don't know <laughs> and yeah so yeah come with me as we go and yeah i just thought i'll talk to you guys about this and this is what i'm going to be doing now going forward you know just basically talking about some of the things i will talk about at home i.e you know when i'm at home seated you know whatever whatever but let me know let me know if you enjoy videos like this let me know do you want me to do stuff like this so yeah i would see you guys later bye, -bye. <laughs>
guys this is the end of this vlog thank you for watching um, I came back yesterday I was so tired and I just went to bed um, my pickup is coming soon so I'm leaving for the airport thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe leave a comment let me know if you enjoy vlogs like this or you prefer the, the other style I did so yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye